Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Eric and welcome to a Magic the Gathering opening video. Today I have an, a booster box of Ikoria Lair Behemoths. So we're going to try to go for the chase. And we're going to start off because of 36 packs and a box topper card. Let's see what that is real quick. Last booster box I got of this, which was just the other day, was a... I don't know what it was. No! Oh, Godzilla, Primeval Champion. I'll have to look that up. It's a foil, too. I will definitely have to look that up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and toss that. I drag the trash can over here real quick. I can throw those away. So we've got 36 packs, and I wish you could, and I'll point out basically the cards that I get uh, when I open them. So let's get started. So we're looking for basically the top five. If we get anything in the top ten, that's still fine, because I'm still making good money off that. So, oh, these packs are normal. Last booster box I got, the packs were, like, off, like, really, like, they were backwards for some weird reason. So it was really weird. Okay. First pack, uh, Snare Tactician, Of One Mind, Lava Serpent, uh, Mained Serval, uh, Sudden Spinrats, Cavern Whisperer, Moscoat Goriak, Suffocating Fumes, Dreamtail Heron, Coronated Chard, those are our commons, Neutralize, Back for More, Polywog Symbiote, and our rare is Yorian Sky Nomad, I'll show that off real quick. What it does is it's a uh, four or five for looks like five, uh, one white or two white or blue and three other uh, legendary creature bird serpent companion. Your starting deck contains at least twenty cards with the minimum deck size. Uh, if this card shows is your chosen companion, you may cast from outside the game. Flying when you're when Yorian enters the battlefield, exile any number of other non-land permanents you own and control. Return those cards to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. Not bad. We got a swamp and a human soldier token. So not bad for our first for our first pack. I'm actually gonna set good old Yorian here off to the side. And set those off to the side. Let's go ahead and open our second pack. Uh, Capture Sphere, Drana Stinger, Snare Tactician, Serrated Scorpion, Survivor's Bond, Rumbling Rock Slide, Convolute, Mysterious Egg, Corpse Churn, and Flycatcher Giraffid. So our comments, uh, Trumpeting Gnar, uh, Fight as One, Endathia Crystal, or Endathia Crystal, Shark Typhoon is our rare, uh, one blue, five other. Enchantment, when you, when you cast a non-creature spell, create an XX a blue shark creature token with flying where X is that spells converted mana cost. Uh, cycling for one blue, one other, and X. Uh, discard, discard, draw a card. When you cycle shark typhoon, create an XX blue shark creature token with flying. Interesting. Got another swamp and a shark token. So, no, not bad so far. I'm actually, better yet, I'm going to keep all the cards together. That way it doesn't confuse me later when I'm sorting through these. Pack number three. Uh, spontaneous Flight. Wingfold Terran. Tentative Connection. Mutual Destruction. Fully Grown. Greater Sandworm. Spring Jaw Trap. Rumbling Rock Slide. Convolute. Mysterious Egg. Skull Prophets, Zagath Mamba, that is a creepy ass snake, uh, Auspicious Star Tricks, and Luris Dream of the Dream Den, that is actually a pretty decently priced card. Uh, legendary Cat Creature, I'll show it off. You guys might be able to see that, I don't know. 3-2, uh, Companion, uh, one black and two black, two white, or mix between one and one other. Uh, each permanent card in your deck has a converted mana cost of two or less. Uh, has lifelink. During each of your turns, you may cast one permanent spell with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard. That is nice. 
such a decent card. Can I have the cards, please? Yeah, weird. Go for Blood, Divine Arrow, Wingfold Terran, Frenzied Raptor, Almighty Brushwag. It's kind of interesting. Cavern Whisperer, Excavation Mole, Boot Nipper, Anticipate, Easy Prey, Clash of Titans, Splendor Mail, Mythos of Snapdax, interesting. Uh, two white, two other sorcerer, white sorcery. Uh, each player chooses an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a planeswalker from among the non-line permanents they control, and sacrifices the rest. If black or red was spent to cast a spell, you choose the permanents for each player instead. Ooh. Oh, we even got a foil rare, too. It's Gem Razor. A 4-4 four, four for 4, 1 green, 3 other. Creature Beast, Mutate for 2 green and 1 other. Uh, reach a Trample when this creature mutates. Destroy target artifact or enchantment and opponent controls. That is really nice. That is that is very nice. That is a nice one. That's good. Let's see what else we got. Nothing huge on the radar yet. Well, we still have plenty of packs. We're only on pack number 4. Oh, we got some of these uh, interesting little tokens now, too. I'm actually going to keep those off to the side. Uh, let's actually just move past most of the things. Oh, we got, uh, I believe this is a showcase. Uh, Cloud Piercer. Some very nice artwork. Uh, Farfinder. Spring Jaw Trap. Uh, Sprite Dragon. Cutting Night Bonder. Barrier Breach. And we got Dirge Bat. Uh, that's a very interesting one. Okay. Uh, three three bat for four, uh, mutate with two black and four others. Uh, flash flying when this creature mutates, destroy a target creature or planes working on public controls. That is evil. I can see why that one is uh, another one to Batra, which is our number five. And note that in time, because I still have to go through the other booster box too. Uh, these will all be on the store page as well. Uh, skip past most of the rare. Those are the commons. Swallow Hole, Catria Crystal, Boon of the Wish Giver, and Death's Oasis. That's actually a decent card. Uh, yeah, that's actually a really decent rare. Uh, one green, one black, one white. Enchantment. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. And return a creature card with lesser converted mana cost than that than the creature that died from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, tap one sacrifice death's oasis you gain life equal to the greatest converted mana cost among the creatures you control that's not bad that's not bad at all that's actually really good just get the rest of this uh, no alt arts or anything no okay uh, void beckoner mystic subduel channeled force and Kahira, the Orphan Guard. Legendary Cat Beast. Uh, one green, or two green, two white, or the other way around. I mean, I don't really know. One other, basically, for, it's a three, two for three. Uh, companion, each creature card in your starting deck is a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast card. Has vigilance. Each other creature you control that's a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast gets. Plus one, plus one, and has vigilance. That is really nice. Wow. That's actually really cool. I'm not sure how I feel about the whole companion thing yet, but it's also been a while since I've stepped back into magic, so who knows? I might actually make a deck out of these cards, especially even the ones like I have from the other booster box that uh, me and a buddy of mine split. So half the cards are hit, or he has his half, I've got my half. Uh, no third arts to that. Hotmaster Liger. I feel like I saw that earlier. Hmm. Uh, Momentum Rumbler. Ooh. Okay. We have the Chittering Harvester. Showcase or extended art. I'm not too terribly sure. I'll verify it later. Uh, ooh, we got a Mythic. Riel the Everwise. Legendary Creature Human Wizard. Uh, zero, 03 for 3. One blood, one blue. One other. Real the Everwise gets plus one, plus zero for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. Whenever you discard one or more cards for the first time each turn, draw that many cards. That. That would be great in a red-blue. Ooh, that would actually be great in my red-blue. If I ever made it. <laughs> I 
had to dismantle it. Well, didn't really have to, but I did. Uh, let's see. Starting off, let's see. Jubilant Skybonder. We got to the... Archaeopelagor. It's a Leviathan. It's not bad. Uh, and Dotha Crystal and the Frondland Philidar. 3-5 uh, Cat Beast for 4. One green, one white, and two other. It's got Vigilance. Creatures you control with Vigilance have... One mana, tap, tar tap, target creature. Not bad. Interesting. I mean, it's actually pretty interesting. What else did we get? Um, no other oh, arts. Okay. Alert Heed Bonder. Parcel Beast. Lead the Stampede. And another Frontline Philidar. That's two in a row. Interesting. Very interesting. What else? What else? What else do we have? Uh, another uh, different art, Cloud Piercer. Uh, Reconnaissance Mission. Zagoth. Another Zagoth member, so I Thunder Dame. And another mythic, General Kudro of Dranith. As a creature, human soldier, 3-3 three, three for 3, 1 black, 1 white, and 1 other. Uh, other humans you control get plus one plus one whenever General Kudra of Dranith or another human enters the battlefield under your control exile target card from your opponent, an opponent's graveyard tap two sacrifice two humans to start target creature with a power of four or greater wow and a foil P Patagia Tiger it's a common it's not bad though interesting that's two mythics so far though usually you try to only usually you have a chance of only getting one well, the fact that we got two, it's good. I like that. It's my thing. Why is my phone blown up so much? Um, okay, charge of the forever beast. Zagoth crystal back for more. And a Ketria triome. It's a land, forest, island, mountain. And to battlefield tap, cycle it for that. It's not bad. It's not a bad rare. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Uh, nothing really impressive at the moment. Keen Sight Mentor. Easy Prey. That's interesting. Okay. Porky Parrot. Interesting combination. Ooh, Genesis Ultimatum. I like this card. I really do. Two green, three blue, two red. Sorcery. Look at the top five cards of your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest into your hand. Exile Genesis Ultimatum. And a foil Unbreakable Bond. It's actually really cool. Okay, we got Momentum Rumbler, Lord Dracus, Heartless Act, and Labyrinth Raptor. A 2-2 two, two for 2, uh, Nightmare Dinosaur with Menace. Whenever a creature you control with Menace becomes blocked, defending player sacrifices a creature blocking it. And tap 1, red and black. Uh, creature you control with Menace get plus 1, plus 0 until the end of turn. Not too bad. It's not a bad one. Could be better. Nothing in the top five or in the top ten yet. That's okay. We still have plenty of packs to go. Oh, we got a Vulpakeet. Interesting. Uh, Alert Heedbonder, Exuberant Wolf Bear, Grim Dancer, and Kolga, the Titan Ape. It's basically Kong. That's King Kong. Uh, seven six for six. Wow, three green and three other. Uh, when Koga the Titan Ape enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Whenever Koga attacks, destroy target artifact or enchantment defending player controls. For one green and one other, return target human you control to its owner's hand. Koga gains indestructible until the end of turn. Wow. That's insane. I like that. I like that card. That's, actually, that's an interesting one. 
Um, nothing different for artwork. Uh, Reptilian Reflection, Zenith Flare, Blitz of the Thunder Raptor, and Mythos of Vadrock. I actually have a foil one of these. Uh, two red, two other sorcery. Uh, Mythos of Vadrock deals five damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. If white, if a white or a blue mana was spent to cast a spell into your next turn, those permanents can't attack or block, and their activated abilities can't be activated. That's insane. And a dinosaur token. That's still insane. That is wow. That's good, though. I like that. Okay. We have Call the Death Dweller. That is freaky. Valiant Rescuer, Dire Tactics, and Karuga the Macro Sage. I got one of these earlier today. 5-4 uh, Dinosaur Hippo for 5 mana. Uh, needs a green or a blue. Or at least two green or two blue, or a mix between, and it doesn't really matter. Uh, companion, certain name contains only cards with converted mana cost of three or greater, and land cards. When Karuga the Macro, the Macro Sage enters the battlefield, draw a card for each other permanent you control with converted mana cost three or greater. That's interesting. I never actually like, took a chance to read that earlier. Whew, sorry. Uh, we have Wingspan Mentor, Glowstone Recluse, Escape Protocol, and Showcase Ragarin Triome. That is nice. I have to actually see how much that's worth because that is actually. Because I know the Savai Triome one that I've now pulled three of is actually worth a decent amount of money. Or at least kind of was. Uh, Primal Empathy, Frill Scale Mentor, Escape Protocol, and my rare is Indathia Triome. Another, it's a Plain Swamp Forest. Oh, I got a foil Aegis Turtle. Uh, comes in the battlefield tab. It's the same one as the other Triome. There's the other Triome cards. It's very nice. Uh, let's see. Keensight Mentor, Duskfang Mentor, Dire Tactics, and Planeswalker. Vivian, Monsters Advocate. Legendary Planeswalker Vivian, uh, three loyalty counters, a green, two green, and three others. Uh, you may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast creature spells from the top of your library. Plus one, create a 3-3 three, three green beast creature token. Put your choice of a vigilance counter, a reach counter, or a trample counter on it. Minus two, when you cast your next creature spell this turn, search your library for a creature card with lesser converted mana cost and put it onto the battlefield and then shuffle your library. That's awesome. I like that. That is really cool. Uh, let's just move on to the uncommons. We have Weaponize the Monsters, Stormwild Caprador, uh, Boneyard Lurker. Interesting artwork on that one. And Obosh the Prey Piercer. I realize I haven't been showing the rares, and I really am sorry about that. 3-5. Uh, Hellion Horror, legendary creature uh, for 5 mana. Requires a black and a red. Uh, your starting deck companion, your starting deck costs, contains only cards of odd converted mana cost and land cards. If a source you control with an odd converted mana cost would, be de would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double to that damage to a permanent or player instead. That's evil. But not entirely bad. Uh, Rooting Moloch, Titanoth, Rex, Flamespill, and Titan's Nest. Interesting. Uh, one green, one red, or one green, one blue, one black, one other. Enchantment, at the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into the graveyard. Exile card from your graveyard. Add a colorless mana. Spend this mana only to cast a colored spell without X in its mana cost. Hmm. And a foil ram through. Not bad. How many packs do we have left? Five. Ten. Fourteen. Wow. Fourteen packs left. I feel like we're going relatively slow at this for it being only for this being twenty minutes. 
So we're just going to kind of blow through this a little bit. Uh, Migration Path, Sanctuary Smasher, Stormwall Capador again, and Slither Wisp, uh, Elemental Nightmare. Interesting. And a Foil Mythos of Nethroi. Nice. Because I'm a little bit... Uh, I do have a little bit of a time to trade at least at the moment, because I do have another video I need to do uh, before the night's done, but I also need to go and visit with a friend of mine regarding something. Uh, let's see. Proud Wild Bonder, Void Beckoner, Ivy Elemental, Mythos of Brokos, and a foil extended... I think this is the extended art. I mean, this is a showcase. I'm not sure. Uh, Dreamtail Heron. Nice. Uh, let's see, we got Valiant Rescuer, Necro Panther, Porky Parrot, and Sea Dasher Octopus. Interesting, and a foil heightened reflect or heightened reflexes, because I can't talk. His words are kind of hard, or something like that. Uh, let's see, Sonorous Hellbonder, Majestic Oricorn, Boon of the Wish Giver, and. Regular Mythos of Nekoi, and a foil in Dotha Crystal. We got a lot of foils now. Kind of interesting. Let's see what happens. I know I keep looking down, like, over here. That's because I have the camera highlighted, so that way I can at least see if maybe I'm actually showing up. Uh, let's see, we got Easy Prey, Sanctuary Lockdown, General Enforcer, and Fiend Artisan. That is number seven. That's 24 bucks. Uh... 1-1 one, one for 2 requires a green and a black. Uh, Fiend Artisan gets plus 1, plus 1 for each creature in your graveyard. A green or a black, an X. Tap, sacrifice another creature. Search your library for a creature card with the, with converted mana cost X or less. Put it into, or put it onto the battlefield, and then shuffle your library. Activate this ability only, only any time you can cast a sorcery. And a foil swallow hole. That is nice. That's the fourth mythic we've gotten we're doing good at least in mythics sense also that was pack that was uh 10 uh let's keep going uh football creator monster step bastion of remembrance and song of creation okay okay that's interesting Uh, Wingspan Mentor, Skull Prophet, Glowstone Recluse, and Lutri the Spell Chaser. It's an Elemental Otter. Companion, each non land card in your starting deck has a different name. Flash, when Lutri's Spellcatcher enters the battlefield, if you cast it, copy target instant or sorcery spell. If you control, you may choose new targets for the copy. Wow, that's actually really cool. Another good one for a red blue deck. Call of the Death Dweller, Splendor Mare, Attishable uh, Hemophage, and another Titan's Nest. Interesting. We've got... Let's see. Huntmaster Liger. Alternate artwork extended showcase. I'll have to look that up. Uh, Jubilant Skybonder, Boneyard Lurker, and Bonder's Enclave. It's another land. Tap for colorless. Uh, tap... Three, and tap another one. Draw a card. Activate this ability only if you control, if you control a creature with a power of four or greater. It's not too bad. All right, we are down to the last five. Let's set this over here. Okay, so we got number seven. Can we get something in the top five? That is the true question. So we have. Hornbash Mentor, Flourishing Fox, Cheering Harvester, and Dranith Magistrate. Uh, creature Wizard, 1 3 for 1 white, 1 other. Your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. Labyrinth Raptor, Foil. So another Foil Rare. Not bad. Uh, Footfall Crater, Savai Crystal, Sanctuary Smasher, and another Mythos of Brokos. Three packs left. We're down to the final three. 
Let's do this. Uh, Regal Leosaur. Ooh, that's actually a really interesting artwork. Dinosaur Cat. Very interesting. Uh, Avian Oddity. Raugrun Rau Crystal. And another Dirge Bat. This time the uh, opposite artwork. And a Foil Planes. Okay. I won't say no to a Foil Planes. Those Foil Lands are actually kind of cool. Will they bring back the Full Arts again? Like they did back in Oath of the Gatewatch. Easy Prey, Clash of Titans, Ketria Crystal, and Colossification. Two green, five other enchant creature. When it enters the battlefield, type enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus 20, plus 20. Ooh. That's evil. The final pack. Let's do this. Let's hope for something. Please give us something. Okay, we have Will of the All Hunter, Ominous Seas, Unbreakable Bond, and Everquill Phoenix. I pulled Everquill Phoenix before. That's not bad. So, all in all, we got some decent pulls. Nothing overly huge, but we did get that Fiend Artist in... It wasn't the extended art. That was the regular Fiend Artist, so okay, maybe that's not actually the number seven. So we didn't get anything in the top ten. That's okay. You can't win them all. It happens. Uh, like I said, I do have another video. Anthony will be joining me for it. You guys will see that here after a bit. I have to go and take care of some other business. So... Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing video for Ikoria Lair Behemoths. I wish I could have done the other one, but oh well. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.